Uh, we thought long and hard about the title. Um, <laughs> we, um, we ultimately decided to call it The Dinner because the book was called The Dinner. And it is about a dinner. <laughs> every, every movie's title is the movie in hopefully more than one way. And obviously the movie was uh, structured as courses of a dinner, but this is really the courses of the narrative. So without starting off really pretentious already, um, you know, every course that's indicated in the movie is really the course of the movie and not the course of the dinner. In the old days, this would have been a 45, 50 day shoot, but we're making these difficult films very quickly now. Um, Warren and I are very close friends. I don't know how that happened either, but uh, we seem to really trust each other. Um, and which is a, a, the beginning point for me to be able to work is trust. And uh, if that's not there, my creative process just shuts down completely. You know, it's like with the actors here. I mean, Laura and I have done, this is the third picture we've done together, and, and we're good friends, but that, that, the trust part of that, it has to be built in or it doesn't work. I mean, Steve and I were new friends on this, but you could see the kind of work we were doing together. If you don't trust each other and know that you're gonna back each other up, you don't experiment, you don't try anything. And that was also built in in this process. But that really starts with the director and the atmosphere that he creates for us to do the work in. So I'm, I'm just really thankful that Warren and I got together for this last part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've grown up professionally with Richard. Um, you know, we've made three films once a decade. And so I, I find it necessary to check in with him every 10 years. <laughs> and then I got to you know, work with one of the best directors I've ever worked with. So it was a win-win all the way around. Let's not forget this, uh, this movie is based on a book. Uh, it's called The Dinner by Hermann Koch. And um, it's, a, it's a very smart, uh, very intelligent narrative that gave me the opportunity to sort of riff on it and adapting it to an American movie. But many of those things, at least the way I read the book, many of those things were there. And then I suppose, you know me a little better, um, you know, my anger got in the way um, and my need to uh, express myself got into the movie. And then luckily for me, I have friends and colleagues who, who share that uh, perspective. And um, for some reason, uh, Steve and I share a certain kind of anger about certain things, uh, political and otherwise. The number of hate crimes in the U.S. went up enormously as soon as Donald Trump started running for president. And I think you've seen the same thing here in Europe. Unfortunately, we have leaders that stimulate fear. And that fear causes us to do really terrible things. I think that's part of what we're talking about in the film here. Um, we have to be really careful how we talk to each other and how we characterize each other. And the most horrible thing that Trump has done is he's conflated two words, refugee and terrorist. It means the same thing in the US now. That's what he's accomplished to a large segment of our population. Instead of refugee used to be someone that we had empathy for, used to be someone we cared about, someone we wanted to help that we wanted to give refuge to, a refugee. We wanted to help. Now we're afraid of them. And, and this, this is something we, that's the biggest crime in itself, conflating these two ideas. And we have to really understand what he and this conservative movement around the world has done. And not forget that we're all in this together. There's none of us who can escape others' realities. We're all human beings. We live on this little planet together. And we have to embrace each other and love each other. So, my statement. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Mr. Richard! 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 Richard!